Alright, shalom all. This is the brother Ataz Awamia from GMS South Carolina camp. Uh, giving all praises to Yahweh, Hashem al Shah, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, taught us this truth. And shalom all to the Akim out there pushing truth and sincerity. Alright, um, this, Lord willing, this be a short lesson, man. But I'm just going to touch some, uh, uh, some I done seen recently, just even just surfacing YouTube, watching some of the brothers teach. And they made mention about certain of our people, all right, of the two thirds, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites, that amongst you, the, the more influential people amongst you are, these niggas is going straight left, man. They going so far to the left, it's, 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 it's fucking ridiculous, man, you know. So I'm just going to touch on the point because I'm seeing this now because I, you know, when you go to work or you go other places, you, you starting to see this more, how fucking, I'm just going to say like how heathenistic our people are getting, man. It's, it's, it's to a point where this shit is, is, it's unnatural. You got to almost fucking second guess uh, when you approach, when you see Jake, man, you have to do a motherfucking double take because these niggas are really transforming themselves into these goddamn heathens, man. And I'm just going to hit a few points, you know. And, um, Lord willing, this ain't going to be long, but shit, man. I'm just vexed. Well, let me get that scripture real quick. All right. This is Second Peter's chapter 2, verse 6. It says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that afterwards should live ungodly, and delivering just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Now when you look up that word conversation, it's not talking about speaking. It's talking about behavior, conduct, manner of living. So he was vexed with the, the, the filthy ways of these people's living, okay, of the wicked, it says, for that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their un unlawful deeds. Okay, which is what 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 do you mean by unlawful? It's talking about them transgressing. Okay, all right, which that's sin. This is First John three and four. Whosoever commit of sin transgress also the law for sin is the transgression of the law okay and the law was given to you negroes latinos and native americans which are the children of israel the biblical israelites okay and um so let me get let me get these few precepts real quick and then i'm gonna hop into the top because i mean damn man these niggas now you niggas need to be destroyed okay you niggas is waxing worse and it's it's vexing, man. It's, it troubles. It's, it's a troubling to see you, you, you niggas, how gone you are, and to hear the fucking folly and madness that proceeds from your perverted, perverted mind, man. You niggas are perverts, man. Straight up, man. Okay. This is um Psalms 19 and 7. It says, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is tr is sure, making wise the simple. Okay, so it said that the law of the Lord is perfect. Okay, and that's where we're gonna come from. All right, this is Psalms one nineteen one forty one. I mean one forty two. It says, "Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth." Okay, so. Where I'm coming from is the truth. I'm speaking truth, man. Okay. Psalms 119 and 8. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandments of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Okay. All right. That's right. This is Psalms 119, 151. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Okay. And it says that these these commandments are pure, enlightened eyes. So you get these, like like what I'm talking about. Okay, 
Like the one brother made mention recently, I was watching um, the New York camp speaking, and one of the brothers, uh, he he said he made mention about Kanye West wearing a skirt. So I said, man, let me look this shit up, man. And I looked it up. This nigga got a Baphomet, uh, fucking Baphomet image on his shirt. Then he got a leather plaited skirt and fucking leggings, man. That's an abomination, man. Then you had this simple ass uh, one of them Latin tribes because he went to school with this nigga in grammar school. Like this nigga really remember him from fucking grammar school. But he said, yo, I went to grammar school with Kanye. So, you know, he's my boy or whatever. And, uh, you know, I saw him on the stage with his his skirt and it was swaying and shit. This nigga describing it like it was poetic or some, you know, like when you see a badass chick and you describe how she, oh man, she was like that. That's how this nigga was describing this nigga up here prancing around with a fucking skirt on with leggings, man. And he said, man, you know what? I thought that was real cool. Well, let's see what the Lord says, man. Let's see if that's, if that's lawful or unlawful. Because I'm tired of you fucking assholes out there kissing these niggas' asses when you know this shit ain't right, man. That's why a lot of you, you fucking Hoover vacuum ass kissing niggas, you gonna die, man. Okay, this is Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Let's see what the Lord said. Okay, because we read that the law is perfect, it's true, and the commandments are pure and light in the eyes, and that the commandments are truth. Okay, from the Holy Bible, Holy Bible, King James 1611. Okay, this is Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination to the to the Lord, unto the Lord thy God. So that nigga's an abomination, man. That's an abomination. That's not cool. That's not cool. It's not righteous about that. That's an abomination, man. Okay? That's a wicked, filthy, disgusting act for a grown-ass man to be prancing around, one, with a, with a skirt on with leggings and then he's worshiping Baphomet he ain't even worshiping the Lord man he's he show you on his on his fucking shirt who he's worshiping man he worshiped Baphomet which is an androgynous demonic spirit man okay that's that unisex madness that's that uh what the fuck man oh god man that's, that's this whole vibration with these niggas. Oh, I need to embrace my feminist side. Like, you got this rapper, this nigga, that's wearing fucking leggings and goddamn lipstick, man. And he has a girlfriend. And that's just probably all set up anyway because they know that you women are easily uh, manipulated. Alright? Uh, us... If you're a real man, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna fall with this shit, man. You, you probably got some of these simple-ass niggas out here wearing skinnies now. Which, that's an abomination. Okay? You ain't supposed to be wearing no damn skinnies if you're a man. Or a woman. Okay? Because they're, 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 they're a health risk, man. Especially if you're a man. Okay? One. Okay? Which, I mean, damn, man. You should already know this, man. But wearing tight clothing, especially around your groin area, you end up damaging, you can end up damaging your uh, reproduction organs or your testes. Which produces... The hormone in your body, which is testosterone, which give you your manliness, which affects your your your, your muscle development, your your uh, your temperament, your aggression level, all right, your confidence, and all that. So if you if you if if you're if you're damaging or in affecting the gland in your body that produces this hormone that you need to stay stable as a man. Then, then what what you expect? That's why you got these niggas prancing around, these fucking tight ass leggings on, wearing lipstick and shit, man. Calling it the X Y movement. That's an abomination. Okay, we just read if a man put on a woman's garment, leggings, which women ain't supposed to be wearing no fucking leggings anyway, but leggings is considered a woman's attire. A skirt is considered woman's attire. Okay. A dress. You got this nigga AC, A, A, excuse me, ASAP Rocky. This nigga trying to push that madness, that androgynous, demonic ass spirit of of Baphomet. Okay, which that's who he worship. Okay, and the Lord's gonna destroy you, you wicked ass nigga, man. 
All you niggas that worship Baphomet, you gonna be destroyed. Fuck some Baphomet, man. To hell with some Baphomet. Okay? Lord gonna do away with that fucking Baphomet worship, man. To hell with Baphomet. Okay? And you women, you be in that spirit too when you wearing pants. Or you wearing man's attire. Now you got these bitches wearing business suits and ties and shit. Dressing up like dudes. You gotta do a motherfucking double take to make sure that's a woman or a dude. Okay? They trying to wear bras that press their boobies down. Alright? They, they trying to buy funnels to piss through so they can, they can stand up and pee like a man. That's an abomination, man. Okay? Oh, shit, man. That's why you, that's why you niggas gonna die, man. That's why Vex was... Uh, Vex, excuse me. That's why Lot was Vex dealing with you perverse... Them perverse Hamites back in the ancient world. And that's just how we feel with... Two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. We we can't stand you niggas, man. You niggas are are a complete abomination, man. You're an abomination. Okay, this is Deuteronomy. Okay. Deuteronomy 23 and one. It says, "He that is wounded in the stones." or have his private parts cut off, shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Okay? That's another thing big amongst our people now. You got fucking transgender uh, video vexings. What the fuck, man? That's a... Yo. Yo. Yo, shit, man. Fuck. Man. That's why you niggas need to die, man. Like, straight up, man. Fuck man, that's madness. You got um, what's what's this what's this demon's name? Tracy Star, which is a fucking dude with a penis, with with still with his fucking penis and testicles, dressing up like a fucking woman. And all these celebrity niggas done either hang with this this dude, which he refers to himself as a vid video vixen, and you know one brother he got it on his page how these niggas was up in New York, they was just feeling on this dude's ass thinking it was a woman, man. They couldn't discern that it was a woman. We live in a society now where it's so fucking androgynous and so bafflement and, and worshipped, so much worship of that damn demon that it's it's a it's 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 a it's a it's a, it's, it's an abomination, man. Okay. You know, fuck man. That's why you, you, you transgenders, you're going to be destroyed, man. And, uh, and you fucking women, man, that's trying to be dudes going through the process. I don't know what the fuck they s attach to you, but you're not a man, okay? You're not a man. I don't give a fuck how much testosterone they're pumping in your motherfucking body. You could grow a goddamn beard down to your damn Achilles. I don't give a fuck. You're not a dude, okay? You're still a woman. You're going to get put to death. And you damn men... That's becoming, trying to become woman, mutilating your genitalia. The Lord gonna destroy you too. Okay, and that's big amongst our people, man. Okay. So any of you niggas doing that, you gonna be put to death, man. You gonna be destroyed. Okay. This is Deuteronomy 23, 17. There should be no whores of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. That's right. I'm talking about you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. We was commanded, which that's a pure, pure, and it's the truth. We was commanded to not be like these other nations, man. These other nations, they're they're natural homosexuals off Jump Street, man. Don't let don't 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 get it twisted, man. These other nations are a bunch of pedophiles, faggots, homosexuals, lesbians, bisexuals, trans. They get all into that shit, man, because they they worship Satan, man. They heathens, man. The Lord ain't dealing with them. Okay, but we supposed to be an example of, of the epitome of man manliness, the men of Israel, and you women, you so-called women, all right, that descend from a Negro, Latino, Native American man, you supposed to be the epitome of a woman. I Meaning you po not just because you have pretty skin, or, or or you have a fat ass or nice breasts. To hell with that, man. All that shit is vanity. That shit can get easily taken away in a motherfucking Left cross, that's if you're a softball, or a motherfucking right hook, if you're a softball, 
you know, or, or a, a car accident, or you trip and fall, and land on your shit, 